Okay. I've set up the rest of Green Lantern here. You can see that I've separated his body into different layers for each body part. This will make it really easy to animate him in After Effects because I can import it as a composition and retain my layers. But you'll notice that he's all black, so I want to give him some color. So the easiest way to do that is to use the knife tool. It's hiding under the eraser tool. If you click and hold, you can get the knife tool. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and slice out the area that I want to separate. Okay, so I've just kind of sliced out a region there. That will allow me to select it separately and I can make that green. Okay, I'm actually going to put the arms underneath the body. Oops. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the on the arm here. Oops. I'm just using I for the eyedropper. The right arm. Something didn't work out there. Let's go to the right arm. So it's important that you select it first, otherwise you could have some issues like I just did there. Huh. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Okay, just gonna have to make a slight adjustment here. Just grab my convert anchor point. If I hold shift, I can move that anchor point there. Let's grab that knife tool again. Still working on the, uh, the right arm here. This time I want to make it white. I could probably save time and duplicate one arm, but I just want to demonstrate how this works here. And let me just fix up the body here because there we go. Green Lantern actually doesn't wear underpants. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Maybe I'll redo that one. Oh. oh. I want to redo that. 
Okay, we're back on track. Okay, and now it's just the boots. I think Green Lantern has one of the coolest costumes. One of the reasons is that his boots and gloves are different colors. Whereas you'd think most other superheroes, the boots and gloves match. Okay, and all that's left to do is the logo. And I would argue that this is one of the coolest logos in comics. Oh, put that on the body layer. Okay, and why don't we use the pen tool for that? Okay, it looks pretty good. Um, it's not perfect. I might spend a bit more time trying to get the dimensions just right, but I'm happy with that for now. And then I just need one more white circle in the middle. Okay, and there you have it. That's how you use the the knife tool to split up your regions that you've drawn with the pen tool.